Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Jasmine Destine back with another nail DIY video. Okay, period. We're coming back with an old set as you can see that has no lifting. Um, I did break a nail, but no lifting. Now I'm gonna be doing a full set for my birthday. These are the Aquarius season birthday nails. I wore them on vacay. I got so many DMs, comments, questions. You guys have just been asking for this tutorial. So this is it. This is the one and only. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so we're gonna start off by obviously buffing these nails down. This is an old set that I did. Um, my previous nail set, there is a video on these nails, how I achieved them, the nail prep that I did to basically ensure that there was no lifting. I had this set on for about a month. It was like a little bit shy of four weeks. So I definitely would suggest going and checking that video out if you wanna see like my technique on how I basically do my nails and have no lifting and I'm able to do fill-ins because this is gonna be a fill-in, honey. Um, I'm gonna be taking my handheld e-file and all of the tools and the products that I use in the video will be linked in the description box for you guys. So make sure you go check that out before you ask any questions because it'll all be linked there for you. They will be affiliate links just to let you know, but girl, let me get my little 10 cents, okay? Um, so I'm gonna go in with my e-file and I'm gonna buff off the gel polish. So I have a clear top coat on, so that goes off first. And then I'm gonna crank it up just a little bit more and I'm gonna buff off the pink gel polish that I have on. Um, you wanna just make sure when using an e-file that you don't keep it in one place for too long because then you'll start to feel like heat or like a burning sensation and that's not good so i'm constantly moving the e-file i start on a low setting and then i work my way up as i get more comfortable using it and i'm moving from finger to finger so the first finger i kind of just took my time but basically once i got through all 10 fingers i had that thing on like max because <laughs> i i've gotten to the point where i'm very comfortable with it but if you're a beginner or a newbie i would definitely start off super slow and just kind of work your way up until you feel comfortable with the e-file because it can be a bit intimidating but it's definitely something that I feel like you can definitely definitely do with practice and I feel like that's what my videos kind of just symbolize for everyone like I started doing my nails about maybe like two and a half years ago and if you go back and watch my older nail videos I've obviously gotten so much better since then it's just simply because of the practice that I've gotten I really just sit down and I spend hours at a time doing my own nails because at least I know at the end I'll be so happy with them and so pleased and I know that it'll be because I did it and I get to save some coin the entire time so I just like honestly yeah that's just it for me um but this is me you know buffing my nails I rarely show you guys this an angle and I just had on like a dirty t-shirt a random dirty t-shirt <laughs> So just uh, disregard that. But like, um, this is just me getting off the gel polish. And honestly, this part probably took the longest out of everything, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I just was really trying to make sure that I buffed the nails all the way down. Once I got the gel polish off, I did have um, clear builder gel, the extend gel from a prey. That's what I used. And then there was a soft gel nail there. So basically, everything was clear so you're not going to be able to tell like if there was a nail there but there was a nail there but i buffed all the way down until it was practically just my natural nail and then i also cut the nails down to where they were the same length as my natural nail because right now i'm trying to grow my natural nail out so that i can like eventually transition out of using the soft gel nails it's gonna be a task but i'm gonna see if i can do it my nails are pretty thin so i wanted to keep the length of them but i wanted them to have some kind of protection so i'm keeping the the soft gel nail there but it's just buffed down super low and then i'm taking the e-file and i'm hitting my cuticle area this i know for certain i have on the lowest setting and i'm taking my time moving slow but i just want to make sure that the nail is buffed and there's no like shine on my natural nail because this is what's gonna help the product adhere to my natural nail and not lift. So over time I will get no lifting, which I love. So you have to make sure that you do it all around the cuticle. Look at how buffed and smooth and just like 
manicured everything is. That's what you want it to look like, okay? And then I'm going in with my Gel X Nail Extensions. These are the Sean Legend Extra Extra Long Square, I believe, and they're the Sculpted. And I'm just sizing out the nails, picking out the ones that fit my natural nail. Um, and then we're gonna work on those next. So I'll just let you guys watch me do this. So once all of the nails are picked out, you want to take a nail bit that's basically small enough to fit inside of the X, the soft gel nails and you want to buff the inside. This is also going to help the product adhere to the inside of the soft gel X nail, which you need to do. It's a part of the instructions on the packaging. So I didn't make this up. You just gotta buff the inside. And I'm using this like little teardrop tool. It looks like a little teardrop. So that's kind of just what I call it. I don't know the formal name, but I'm just buffing the inside of the soft gel nail. Um, and yeah, I didn't do the entire nail. Like I only did three quarters of the way up. Really, you only need to do the area, the surface area that's gonna cover your natural nail. So, but I, I just, just to be safe, I put it because my nails are longer I did it like three quarters of the way up into the nail then I'm taking my pH bond from jellish this is my nail dehydrator and I'm gonna apply a single layer of this to my natural nails and this is just proper nail prep and then we're gonna go in with the acid-free gel primer from A Prey and do a single layer of this. You don't wanna be super generous with this, but you just wanna make sure you coat the nail. And then going in with my Gelish foundation or base coat, if that's what you wanna call it, I'm gonna do a single layer of base coat on all of my nails. And this is when I realized that like my nails have grown out so long because I did the base coat and I could like actually see my nail and I was able to buff down the gel basically to just like a super thin layer. So it was giving like my natural nails grew out and I was not mad at it. I was like, this is kind of cute actually. Like with a little bit more shaping, I could have just threw a color on this and been done, but I wanted to give myself some, you know, extra extra long dramatic cute birthday nails because my birthday was coming up and it's aquarius season and i just knew like i needed to give a bit more so we gave a bit more so i went and i cured that for 30 seconds and then i'm gonna finish off and do the last two fingers So this is what my natural nails are looking like. Thumb is a little messed up, but it's okay because we're gonna be covering it. And then I'm gonna go with the Extend Gel from A Prey. This is clear. Um, and you're gonna take that and basically apply a bead on the inside of the soft gel nail. You guys have seen me do this so many times, like literally so many times. So it was pretty self-explanatory but i'm just gonna kind of let you guys watch me do it but i did my pinky and then i'm gonna cure for 30 seconds that one's on and ready to go um and then we're just gonna move on to the next finger and so on and so forth So I'm just making sure to flip my hand upside down so that I can get any clear gel that might have been on the underside. Um, you wanna make sure you do that too. 
and yeah this process used to be so hard for me like I know some of you guys have been watching my tutorials from when I first started using these soft gel nails I was struggling I was on the struggle bus honey and I was stressed out because I was just like ugh, why doesn't it work for me everyone else makes it look so easy but it's really like there's like a certain technique or method that you have to do and it's only after you've worked with it for a couple of times I feel like you really get to understand like okay this is there's a certain way to apply these but once you get it you can literally have application in five minutes or less like I got these nails on for all 10 fingers in under 10 minutes and I was so happy because I that cut my time down like in half and you know I'm trying to get everything done in a good amount of time like I'm trying to be time efficient I'm not trying to be doing my nails for like seven hours which is what I was doing at one point you know um, so I went ahead and I cut them down. I didn't show that on camera, but I just snipped them down a little bit because they were a little too long. Like they were long, they're long still, but they was extra, extra long. And I, I still need to be able to function and do things. And I know I'm gonna be traveling with these nails, so I didn't want them to be like ridiculous. But they're still long, honey. Like they're still giving extra long. So I'm just going in with my nail file and I'm buffing and I'm well not even buffing really I'm just straightening out the edges I'm sharpening up the edges and I'm giving it more of a square look um, because it was giving a little bit rounded especially since I cut so that's what they looked like shaped okay And then I did all 10 fingers. I be trying to show y'all that I really be doing both hands. No help. Like, it's well, me. It's really a one woman show. And then I'm gonna go in with this gel polish. I don't remember the name, but I'm gonna definitely have it linked in the description box. But I literally went on Amazon and I typed in bubble bath like OPI bubble bath and if you are a French girl girly or you go to the nail salon often you get pedicures whatever you know that bubble bath is like the go-to pink for any French on any skin tone like it's literally the go-to like my nail salon has like six of them and they're all like halfway empty because I know that's what people are asking for all the time on their toes so I was like I need an equivalent to it because I can't get it online and this is the perfect dupe and not only is it the perfect dupe it's the most affordable dupe this was only seven dollars it was like seven and change and I was like oh my gosh I was a bit nervous because I just ordered off of Amazon and I was just going based off of like customer reviews and photos but when I got it in person and I tried it on I was like oh my god this is it like this is the dupe like this is what I needed this entire time like this is what I needed in my nail arsenal because it literally is the perfect pink this is gonna look great on my toes it's gonna look great on my hands I'm gonna be able to do French designs there's just gonna be so many more nail designs that I can actually do now because I have this pink in my arsenal I'm so so freaking happy like it's so pretty it's the perfect like color and just opaqueness but not like too sheer you can layer it up it's great I love it I did two coats of this on all my fingers and I'm just gonna guys let you watch you know
Like, look at this color. Look at my nails. The, like, very simple girl in me literally just wanted to leave them like this. I was like, forget the design. This color is it. Look at it. This is so cute. Like, it's just the perfect pink. I'm... I'm flabbergasted like I I was watching this back and I was like why didn't I have this this whole time it looks so good so I went ahead and I cured that for 30 seconds um and that's what my nails is like like two goats okay honey and then we went in and we did the thumb And it's just giving, honey. Simply put, the nails are giving the length, the shape, the color, ugh, everything. I'm just here for it. So I'm gonna be going in with this McCart Lavender Lilac Gel Polish. And these are the nails that I'm trying to replicate that I saw on Instagram. I get all my nail inspo from instagram now i used to like heavily get it from pinterest and i still kind of do but like instagram just been showing me like looks and i'm like oh my god i need to recreate this like i need to do a video on it so i saw these gorgeous nails and it was giving me major aquarius vibes just because of like how like fun and funky it is and then the color obviously you know Aquarius season, Aquarius birthstone is amethyst, which is purple. So like anything purple and the purple family, lilac, lavender, I feel like I'm just genuinely drawn towards. The image was like, it looked like there was a matte finish on the nails, but I definitely wanted to keep it glossy just because I knew I was like going on vacay and I just love glossy nails overall. Like they're just my fave. Um, I wasn't following the photo to a T. I was kind of just winging it and doing my own thing But like from the image you can tell it's kind of just like a bunch of you know squiggly like lines and and Shapes and that's kind of just what I was going for like I was Really kind of just letting the brush do its thing, you know I will say that it was like hard to replicate from hand to hand so both my hands are like completely different so it's like every finger has its own vibe going on and I kind of like that that also is giving me major Aquarius vibes I was just here for it this is probably hands down my favorite nail set that I've done and I'm so happy with the way that it turned out we're not even at the end yet but like I'm just gonna kind of let you guys watch me do this cuz there's not much to explain <laughs> but I did do with two coats of the purple so this is just the first layer I'm gonna go over everything with a second layer because I wanted it to be more opaque and solid which it was once I want once I went in with the second layer So that's what two layers of the purple looks like on those four fingers and then I'm gonna kind of do the same thing on the thumb.
We're gonna cure for 30 seconds. And that's what the little design is looking like so far. I'm gonna go in with my white gel polish that I use in so many of my videos. And the design had a white outline on the outer edge of like the purple. And then there were some more lines kind of just anywhere else, like layered anywhere else. Again, I wasn't following the design to a T because it did have some darker purple lines, but I didn't have a darker purple and I didn't feel like mixing gel polish to make one. I could have been that extra because I've done it before, but <laughs> at this point I was like, you know what? I think it just looks cute with like the lilac and the white. And then once I did that, I really started to see the design come together. So I'm this is just me doing it on every finger. This nail brush is not a nail brush. It's, it is it is in fact a paint brush that I got from Michaels. I think it was like six or seven dollars and I bought it a really long time ago, but it's just a really thin, skinny paintbrush and I use it for my nail designs. The trick with doing the thin white nails is to not load up your brush with too much gel polish because I actually tried this at first and I had too much gel on my nails. I mean, I had too much gel on the brush and it was coming out too thick on my nails. Like, the lines were way too thick so I actually ended up cleaning it off because it wasn't cured yet and starting over, but you guys didn't see that. So yeah, this is me going in and creating a second line um, a little bit lower. This is on top of the purple. And you kind of just want to follow the same shape of the first white line, but like lower down. And that's what that looks like. I cured it. I didn't show you guys, but I cured it for 30 seconds under the UV lamp. And then I'm going in with my top coat from the Gelish kit. And we're going to do a single layer of top coat on all of these gorgeous nails. And just bring it together. Bring it all together, honey. Okay? This has to be my favorite part about doing my nails. Because once you put the top coat on, you just know that you're done but you also kind of just see the completion of your work. Top coat just makes it look so neat and just perfect, even if it isn't. Like, I promise you, like, top coat is like setting spray, like, for your makeup. Like, it literally just brings everything together. Cure it for 30 seconds. And look at the nails. Mm, they look so good, yes. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the thumb. We can't forget the thumb, okay? Never gonna forget the thumb. Look at that top coat, babes. I've had this gelish kit for like over a year and I still have so much product in all of the bottles. It's It blows my mind, actually. So I cured for 30 seconds and then I kind of just go back and I do an extra cure for like another 30 seconds on all of the nails just to make sure that everything was gat, okay? And that's what my nails look like. I'm gonna take a little cotton pad with some alcohol and I'm gonna clean off the sticky layer. This is how you know that your nails are done. There is gonna be a sticky layer, you just wanna clean that off. And your nails are supposed to shine and sparkle and look fabulous and brand new. So that's what my nails look like. And then I'm gonna go in with the cuticle oil from the Gelish Kit. And I'm gonna apply this to my nails. And yeah, like, it's giving. I'm obsessed. I love it. Favorite nail set, hands down. This is definitely my favorite color. Like when I was growing up, purple was definitely my favorite color, but like now as an adult, it's lavender lilac. 
Um, we're gonna go in with a little bit of hand and body lotion from Cura. This has some CBD in it, so it's just giving you like all the relaxation vibes that you need. It's giving you spa, it's giving you luxury. I absolutely love, I'm just applying this and kind of massaging it into my hands. It gives me a great moisture. I do like to use this on my body as well. I have it linked down below, but I'm just massaging that into my fingers, making sure, cause we gotta take care of the hands too. Like we need them to be moisturized. All that UV, uh, that UV light going on, we gotta make sure that our hands are moisturized. And that is the completed set. I am absolutely obsessed. I love the way that these turned out. Let me know what you guys think down below. I got so many questions and comments for the tutorial on these nails and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that it was helpful and informative and if you guys recreate this nail design or any of my other ones, please share it with me on social media. You can tag me on Instagram, on your stories, on your posts. I see them all the time and I like to write back to you guys because I'm just like, I, I love it. I love that my DIY nail vi videos inspire you guys to go ahead and do your own nails. Um, it absolutely just makes me feel so good inside. So make sure you click that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Join the tribe. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you at my next upload. Bye.